Hello everybody, Burnt Oak Guy here, and welcome back. We're playing Satisfactory. Oh yeah, episode number two. So today we're going to get a little bit of things started here. So we're going to start with our research. Um, I guess we'll start with the nuts. And if you come over to the MAM here, and you go in here, you have nuts. Probably it's on the first top of the list there, so we'll just throw one in there for now. Um, I think it all requires just the one for the scanning purpose. Sometimes some items you need more than just one though, so. But while that scan's got like five minutes to scan, we're gonna go and um, get a little bit of production started here. So, what I want to do today is, uh, I'm turn my headset down a little bit because I find it a little loud. Alright, um, we're gonna get set up a little bit of automation. So I'm gonna pick up the miner, because you actually need the miner itself to create uh, the big miner. <laughs> so we have things to craft here. Uh, you got production and all that good stuff. Um, we need a miner. And where that green thing is there, well, that's the output. So we're just going to output it like this. Oops. Uh, then we're going to need a smelter. And this, I think, if you hold what left control, yeah, it lines it up for you. So that's pretty lined up. And then that's gonna smelt stuff. We'll go back into queue. Actually, I should be hotkeying these. So we'll make this one five. We'll make this one six, and we'll make this one seven. Yeah, that works. So we'll go with a number seven now, and we'll line that one. Oh, wrong button. That was horrible. Okay, so now we're lined up. Uh, that's constructor. And the one last thing I forgot to put on there is organization. And we'll put storage on eight. And then we're gonna need to store this stuff. So, we'll do it again. Set that up. That's nice and straight. Uh, then we'll go with, we're gonna need some conveyor belts. So the conveyor belts will come out of here, go into our smeltery, and vice versa into the constructor, and the constructor goes into the storage. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm really stupid. I really, really am stupid. This doesn't need a smeltery. It just needs the constructor. I forgot about that. We're dealing with limestone, people. You don't smelt limestone. Oh my god. That was kind of a noobish thing to do, wasn't it? All right, so that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll leave it like that. I don't, I don't really care at the moment. Um, this isn't like a final product, so uh, we just need to make concrete with this. Um, in these constructors, you can make all kinds of different things, and as you unlock more stuff, uh, this is gonna fill up. Uh, so yeah, here we go with the uh, concrete on that one. Now you're gonna notice they're flashing red. There's no power to it. So now let's go deal with some power. Uh, I want to get the concrete up and running first because these are impure nodes and you only get um, a little bit of stuff uh, from it. It's like a, a quarter or a third of what you would get of these or some shit like that. Anyways. Um, so here, we'll go add some bio mass to this. You get that by making, using wood or stuff like that. So now it looks like it's using them, but it's really not using any of it right now because like, we're not drawing any power, so it just kind of like filled it up. So if you have nothing connected to it, you can fill it up and it's not gonna waste any power, so. Uh, we're gonna go two because these are our power lines and power poles. So what we'll do is we'll just put a power pole right here, and then we'll go two. We'll connect this one up to here, this one up to here. So now we can we can have uh, on certain power poles you can have so many connections. So these ones are low tier ones, so you can only have four. So that means we're not going to be able to split it over there if we connect these two up. So we're going to have to build another pole over here, and then this pole will share the power between that one and that one there we go so now you can see the drill is started up it's going to start mining into the, uh, the limestone there that's pretty awesome animations i love this 
And then the limestone will come out onto the conveyor belt here. Now these are slow conveyor belts. You can also upgrade these with time. I think they go up to Mach, uh, Mark 4. So that's like uh, 200 and some items per minute that's going to fly by. So that's pretty intense. Uh, then everything is going to go into the constructor here. And uh, it's just making concrete. So I don't know why it sparks. But that's still whatever. It's all good. I think the, the animation should be a little bit different, analysis. but, oh, great, I'll be right there, and then the concrete's going to come out all nice and packed, and then that's going to come in here, and it's going to get stored in here, so every time we need concrete, well, we'll just have to come here and grab concrete, so let's go see what uh, the nuts revealed, and then we'll start something else uh, up afterwards, confirm. Berries. Barrel nuts can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in Hub Tier 1. Alright. I'll put in just once one berry. Perfect. Start scanning that. I'll put our berries back. So now if you come to the hub, because she said go to Hub Tier 1, and then Object Nut Scanner. So if we put in five nuts, we'll be able to get... Uh, that object scanner that we have. I don't think, I don't know if we have unlocked it or I built it yet. Uh, I think you gotta build one. And then you would just like scan for the objects. So say if you're running around looking for nuts, well you could just scan for them and it would automatically find them for you. So while that's doing that, we're gonna go and uh, get the next thing set up. Um, as you can see, I took the time to uh, to make some, craft some items. And we're only an hour and 42 minutes into gameplay duration, so you can see that it doesn't really take that much time to to get everything set up. Now, we're going to grab this. Oh, I want to pick it up. Uh, do we start with this one? I guess we could, because that's going to fill me up, though. Um, I guess I could always just... Yeah, see, I knew that was going to happen. I'll just go get uh, drop this concrete off and all this crap in here for now. Um, I don't need this, this, that, that. That can go in there for now. Until at least um, I get things up and running a little bit and I can, I'll craft those into materials when I'm off gram. And then <coughs> it'll be a lot faster that way. And then you guys don't have to watch me get rid of that junk. And there we go. Okay, so now we're going to do the same system over here, except we're going to put the smelter in on this side this time. <laughs> Alright, so let's go with our five. Uh, there's one. I'm just going to build all of them for now and kind of get them over and done with. That way this stuff is out of my inventory. There we go. Um, now we need smelters, which is six. Uh, now, I'm only going to put one for now, because technically, you could actually add three smelters per, uh, per one of these to be efficient, uh, but I don't have enough power yet to be able to do that, so we're just going to run one for now, and we're going to slowly craft up things that we kind of need, and we're going to do some stuff by hand, so it's... Until until I can lock unlock a few more things out of the hub, anyways, that's kind of how it's going to have to be. Uh, and then we can just throw that there. We'll put in our conveyor belts. Awesomely awesome. All right, uh, let's get rid of this for now. So the smelter, you're gonna smelt iron. Crafter, I'm gonna make you craft plates. I can do rods myself for now, or I could switch it back and forth, right? So now you're gonna need power. So in order to get power here, we're gonna have to grab a pole. So we'll grab a pole, we'll put it right here. And we got three of these, so we're gonna have to grab another pole here like this. Put that one there. So that's connected to there, that's connected to there. This one can go here, this one can go here, and that one can go here. And then this way I can take this pole here and I can bring it down to the other ones over there. So this is all going to start up. Now we can produce 40 megawatts of energy and once things start running up, well right now we only have the two miners and one constructor over there working. 
So we'll see when all this starts to generate uh, generate stuff and see how it is. <coughs> I already got my ingots out and got all that going in, so let's check our power. So now we're up to like 22 megawatts. So that jumped us up like oof, about 8 in the peak. So I could probably hook up one more. Alright, let's do that. So we'll hook up one more. It should be fine. And then I guess I could let a little bit of time go by. And after that, we'll. Um, I don't really need to automate the copper at the moment. Um, so that's not much of a big deal. And then once we get uh, that going. Okay, so this is the smelter I'm on right now. Yes. Okay, so we're going to need a constructor afterwards. There's the constructor. And then we're going to need a storage. Conveyor uh, belts. Oh, there we go. The building in this game is so fun. Like, it, it doesn't make it tedious whatsoever. It's, it's so great. Alright, so now we have a power pole that's over here, not doing nothing. Well, it's doing something, but it's going to bring us more power here. So we'll do the same basic jazz as we did before. We're going to do a double. And then we'll connect that. That. And that. And you will make us ingots. And you will make us rods. And voila! So we'll wait till this ramps up and then we'll find out um, how much energy we're using. Kind of curious to know. Right now we're up to 31. As long as I'm not busting the 40, we'll be fine. Like this sh is probably pushing everything to its limits right now. Oh yeah, like I wouldn't be able to add anything more on there. Otherwise I'll start tripping, tripping the... Uh, generators so that's good so that's good so now we're making plates and we're making iron rods so that's awesome that's good and we got some concrete being created over here at the same time which is good so see how slow this is that's like really slow and then I built this one right after and it's coming up pretty good so it's it's not the fastest thing but it's better than crafting it by hand and it gives you time to look around, adventure, uh, it gives you time to do things, right? So, how's this uh, doing? Are we done here? Alright, we're done here. Uh, flower petals. Paleodictiop red berries or pale berries can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in Hub Tier 1. Awesome. So that would be another thing we could throw on the object scanner as well. Uh, we'll have to put more of those berries into the, the pod there and we'll be able to scan them. But that's that for now. So we got basic automation going. That's really, really good. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a cut. And we're back. So through the magic of editing, we have completed a little bit of time that's gone by. I really like the fact that you can like climb up... Uh, the equipment through ladders on the side and stuff like that that's kind of cool so it gives you a chance to get over top of things so let's have a little look at uh, we've got some stuff here and let's see what we got over here all right so we're about the same about the same that's pretty good that's pretty good very happy with that very happy with that let's go see what we got over here in concrete Nice, nice. Alright, so we got a little bit of ways to go. So I figured out what we're going to do. And this is what we're going to do. Because we're going to run into a problem real fast, okay? And that's going to be power. So through my AFKing, I've already drained 200 of these. And they're almost at 50. So you see it goes down relatively quick. So, so, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go into the hub here. And we're going to start looking at the stuff that we need in order to, I guess, advance. But So this is what I think we should do. Okay, We need a chainsaw. All right. So I think this is the first thing that we're going to do. Uh, because this is going to help us collect lots of biofuel. Uh, biomass, anyways. right? So we're going to take that. Uh, we're going to throw in the 200 rods. Um, I got plates. Uh, I got 
got that, and we have the wire. So, when I hit this button, watch this. This is going to be awesome. Milestone reached. Additional to an inventory expansion, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. Round. And then this thing off it goes to space. So I'm assuming that like, there's a mothership up there or something like that that's there to receive all the goods because it comes back and it's only gone for what four minutes and 30 seconds so yeah that's it's pretty awesome um let's go check this out what are we going to need in order to make this chainsaw so it says we need uh, reinforced plates which we have enough we have enough rods uh, we need screws 160 screws and we have enough wire, so that's good. So that's good. That's good. So we just need a little, make a little bit of screws. 160 screws. Oh, well, let's do that. Good thing screws don't take long to make. There we go. 162 screws. That's perfect. So, um, if we take this, we can make one of these, right? Oh, come on, hit the button. All right, now we got a chainsaw. Okay, so. This thing requires biofuel though, all right? So let's go back to here. Um, we're gonna need this one next. So I'm gonna go collect some rods from the bin over there. And by that time, we will just have to wait till this thing comes back. And yeah, and then, oh, that's plates. And then once we that thing comes back, well, we can do the next tier. Uh, I said 250, I'll bring like that with me. That'll be good. All right, that's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, so I'll take another little cut and in three minutes we'll, we'll come back and we'll do the other one. All right, here comes our dropship. Ooh, ooh, nice. Pretty uh, intense uh, entry though. See how fast it was coming in there? That was like a suicide burn. That was wicked. That's so dope. Love this game, love this game. All right, so now we're gonna go into utility one. We're gonna get that biofuel because uh, this is what we really need in order to get things on the roll. And that way we'll be good for, there we go. And back up you go. Hope you're well fueled. Awesome. Milestone reached. I'll never get sick of watching this thing going up. structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. Additionally, the biofuel blueprint will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners. Additionally, you can now build the space elevator, Sweet. which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. Okay, so our main goal here is to get this thing up and running. Um, this is our spa uh, space elevator, and uh, yeah, uh, this is going to help us get uh, farther, open up more technologies. So that's really, really good. Um, the thing what we're going to do now is that we got... Uh, chainsaw. We're going to toss that there. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, you're going to have to stop. Bam. Bam. Alright. Now you're all probably thinking, well, what did you do that for? I'm about to show you. Now everything just tripped. So now we're going to make some biofuel. This is going to fuel our chainsaw. And now we can go cut down the entire world. Which is totally wicked because this will help fuel us until we unlock coal. Um, I'm going to try to power through this so that we can unlock coal because, you know, um, running around with a chainsaw is cool and all. But, yeah, this is sweet. <coughs> but after a while, it becomes tedious. So, let's, uh, I, I do like the fact that this has an area effect cut. So if there's anything within the immediate area, it'll cut it up, and that's kind of cool. So I'll go around and just uh, collect just a little bit of biofuel here, and uh, yeah. All right, and we're back. So we're going to do a little bit of biofuel now. So I went and made a whole bunch of it. So now that uh, this is on or off, we'll just toss 200 in there. We'll toss another 200 in there. Oops. And then you have to pull the lever. That's like the breaker. I think that's pretty awesome. That's a pretty sweet little touch to the game. Uh, the only thing I really wish would have been really cool to see 
that you would have had fluid leaking out of here instead. Um, only because you're now using a fuel, not leaves. But that's just me. Um, I thought that would add a little bit more realism to it, but that's still pretty freaking awesome. Uh, everything's up and running now. These things, a little bit more efficient. Like, it still burns through it pretty quick, but uh, at least we can make a lot more of it a lot faster. So, let's do a couple more tiers here. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, logistics, splitters, and mergers. Um, personal boxes and more inventory space. A bunch of walls. Let's go see tier 2 here. Uh, parts assembly. And jump pads. Huh. Alright, well, let's just get rid of all this small stuff here. And as much as we can anyways. And then call that an episode. I'll just go and empty as much as we can from here. Oh yeah, it was off and I took a whole bunch, right? So we'll do the same thing to here. Uh, we'll just take... I don't know. That sounds good. Um, we'll go back over here. We'll try to do a little bit more. See how much more we can do here. Uh, select a milestone. Bam, 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 bam. And wire. Excellent. Off you go again. Reach. Conveyor belts can now merge and split to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Awesome. And I totally forgot about the um, about this here, so R&D wishes me to tell you these colored petals are useful for two things, dating and creating color cartridges. Mandatory reminder that you are under 24-7 surveillance. The derived blueprint is now accessible in HUD Tier 2. Oh, it only wants one. Oh, okay. Alright, well, we'll do the green power slug anyways. Um, I thought it required... See the, the carapaces? These require one the first time, ten the second time, so... Yeah, so, so that's everything, I guess, for today, really. Um, kind of getting close to the end of my time limit. Uh, so yeah, we're going to call that an episode. Next episode, we'll get through some more milestones. We'll try to finish off these and these as well. And once that's done, um, then the beginning of the third episode, we'll place the space elevator probably somewhere just out here for now, uh, just so we can uh, access things and get the coal because uh, that's what I really want to get out and running is that coal as soon as possible so that, that way we're not running around for biofuel and all that good stuff there so thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you in the next one peace and take care